back for an episode of Life is Strange. I am so excited to play today because I absolutely, absolutely loved the last episode that we played. It was amazing. I really, really like the vibe of this game. The So far, the choices, I'm still wondering because it says like it's gonna have consequences later, but we haven't really seen those consequences yet. So I'm kind of curious like what's gonna happen with the choices we made like for example when i last episode i uh, let a bird in like i saved its life and it says like it's gonna have consequences i'm so curious like what consequences is it gonna have anyway so i guess we'll see eventually but yeah we're still on i should i should stop saying episodes because i always call when i do a playthrough of um of games i always like cut and I call them episodes but I should maybe call it parts because for this game there are literally episodes so and we haven't finished episode one you know what I mean but we've played one episode last time anyway so <laughs> maybe it gets confusing I don't know maybe I should change that but we haven't finished chrysalis basically I don't even know if it's how you say it I'm sorry but anyway we haven't finished that episode yet so yeah we're gonna do that so last time we played i can say that last time we played we uh, met with many of max's friends like kate who's got who's getting really bullied we met chloe our childhood best friend we actually saved her life because nathan prescott i think is his name was about to kill her with a gun well did kill her and then we rewinded time and then saved her and i think it was like when i edited it's kind of, it's kind of like, I don't know if it's cheating, because as a content creator, we edit the videos and then we notice details that we didn't necessarily notice when we were playing, right? Well, it's not cheating, but you know what I mean? And I noticed that it's only after we took the picture of the butterfly, the blue butterfly, that we got our powers, I feel like. So I don't know if it's related or it's just Max has always had those powers and she never knew. Kind of like X-Men type of thing, like you reach a certain age like a teenager and your powers get out or it's really like taking a picture of that butterfly like the butterfly effect kind of anyway i don't know i was just thinking about that when i when i was editing like ah you know that i didn't necessarily notice when i was playing or like piece together so we'll see uh we also yeah so we met with chloe uh we met victoria which is a big bully but we were kind to her after all uh, first i was not kind to her but then we were kind and we are on like neutral term i would say but nathan really hates us though because we told the principal that he had a gun and then the principal met with him he didn't even check him he didn't have any punishment or nothing but nathan now really really doesn't like us at all so that's where we're at we're at chloe's house and I saved the bird. And I'm trying to find tools, tiny tools for my camera because the camera is broken. And that's it, yeah, that's where we are. So let's jump into it. The music is so good. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. And I got copyrighted claimed. I did not expect to, be, to get copyrighted claimed with this game. Cause I'm, you know, I'm playing uh, GTA 5 at the same time. And I was like, oh yeah, GTA 5, I'm gonna get copyright claimed not at all well i took all the the music off as well but you know for for the beginning i didn't and i didn't get copyright claim and now this game i got copyrighted claim twice on the same video like what like when they play something on the radio it gets copyright claimed thankfully i always record the gameplay audio and my mic on separate tracks so i can still talk <laughs> even if i have to mute but yeah it, it sucked a little continue and I went ahead and bought all the other episodes, by the way. Because uh, I didn't. Before, I had only the first one. I didn't know. But now nope. I... Someone locked it from the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I Doesn't saw that. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Yeah, I saw that. They, they are having money problems. A lot of money problems. Now, this is the Chloe I remember. Oh, yeah. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I mean, with all this shit she's been through, like, understandable. 
Hmm. She had long hair too. And not blue. Oh. Uh, thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy's an asshole. The security dude. And I'm wondering if it's Chloe's father. Uh, father. Stepfather. Something gonna be on the news. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Okay. Because uh, I saw the picture and it really looked like him, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Like the mustache. Well Shiner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. <laughs> Joyce. Toilet paper. Very important. I'm just snooping. <gasps> Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm supposed to go in the garage, right? <laughs> but I'm just snooping. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Thank you, game. I could go in the backyard. What is that? Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Yeah. I don't really like that. Damn, I don't... it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Oh, that's Looks so like a ship wreck now. Oh, God. I'm not against hunting, Percy. Uh, especially when it's like, uh, animals that would reproduce too much. I don't know how to explain this properly. Um, f so I'm not really against it, but like, just for pure pleasure and like taking pictures, I'm like, nah, bad taste a little, a little. I guess they're aging these books. I don't know. I don't really like it. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Okay, but I want to go in the backyard first. I'm sorry. Answering my... Oh. Snooping. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. Who's that? I'm serious. Who's Pete? Pete? Let's go outside. Just wanna see. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. <gasps> nice. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Oh my god. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Oh. Poor Bongo. Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Oh. oh that that's took nice. Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's really nice. It's almost invisible now. <laughs> it's really cool. Well, if you drew it outside and let it there, yeah. Like, obviously, it's gonna erase. Oh, yeah. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. And take pictures. Far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Oh. Dude, you would totally come with me. Yeah. Dude? I'm your bodyguard for our adventures. <laughs> I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Oh, yeah. I totally. agree. I want to be that too. We have cars and boats and planes <laughs> all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. The birds. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever it's could weird. be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. That's nice. Oh. 
That was so nice. There was butterflies over the grave. That's really cute. Uh -huh. Okay. That was that was really nice. I liked it. Let's get back inside and use the tools in the garage that is right here. I oh 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 oh, oh I'm sorry. I did not mean to. How, oh, how do you make it stop? I forgot. Um. I did. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I forgot how to play. Is my problem. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm sorry. But now we already seen all of that, so I guess. We made this grave for. Chloe's I mean, I didn't kitty. do any decision Poor or Bongo. whatever, so. He never saw that car coming. Is it gonna say something different? What do you truly want to do when you grow up? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Whatever, I didn't do anything, so... Okay, I rewinded time. Whatever. <laughs> it was not on purpose, but it's okay. And that plant needs some watering. Jesus. Well, I think it's just roses, probably. Oh. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. There we go! He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? There we go, that is what I was How thinking! How can you get? Yes! I knew it! I knew he looked the same with the mustache. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've gotta be shitting me. David. Madsen. So that's why she's like... He's... Oh shit. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Okay, at least there's guns we can use eventually. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Ah. There we go. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me see around before. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Hmm. But you could snoop though. Corn beef? Files. Shit! Butterfingers. <gasps> okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now take them slowly. You can't! Oh, man, I'll always make them fall. Wait, okay, can I look? Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? She knows something. Okay, this is getting totally weird. I can rewind after, right? What? Okay. What? Oh no, no. Okay. Good lord. All right. This action we have consequences. What? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder Placement why. Placement of cameras. Are you okay? What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Yeah. Fuck, he saw me in the in the room then. And here, probably. Is there one in Chloe's room? I don't think so. 
I think there isn't. Good lord. Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. Uh, yeah, close it. He can't know I was here. Like, that I've seen this, you know. Warning, I don't dial 911. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh my god. A trophy. Uh... Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Yeah. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Door. Okay. Food. A lot of food. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Hmm. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Try to... Man, I should have done that before they fell. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. What do I do? I need a... What should I do? I need something... To grab it. Maybe if I go back to Chloe, she has something to help me or... Cool, now it's opened. Um... Go no on. need to go there now. Oh, um, uh, how do I get the tools? So there's like a camera... ...somewhere... <laughs> ...around here, probably uh, in there. Okay, how do I get the tools? I don't know. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Black. That does not look stable. How the, oh. Ah, I have to rewind? To not make them fall? Oh, fuck. I went everywhere, though. I'm pretty sure I can't rewind that far. Can I? <laughs> That's a lot of rewinding. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. How do I... What do I do? Boom. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Maybe if I push it first... And then make it, make it fall. I think that's what she said earlier, isn't it? I was not listening. I think it won't fall there. Ah, there we go. It falls on it. Aha! I'm a genius. <laughs> Took me a while. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Cool. Okay. And we didn't touch anything else. I've got else. the tools. I should go back upstairs before but Chloe freaks. But we have the knowledge. Oh. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. I guess they're aging these books. upstairs uh where was our room at okay here wrong way <laughs> oh 
this card. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. From... Huh? We had such a blast drawing these together. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. I didn't see everything last time. Did I miss... miss something? Search that, I saw that, poster, la la. That's fine. Wind though. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Oh, that's foreshadowing we're gonna do it probably. Tools. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Music. Music is good. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. The butterfly. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. <gasps> oh no, That's why I'm Nathan gonna raged to after her. you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Yep, hella well, tell did. Me the truth, Max. I, yeah, I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question, did you tell anybody? Like who? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't know that. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. True. We didn't. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Why, you're welcome. I like her. I mean, she's got some... She's hiding some stuff, but I, I still like her. I, I like her. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. Was it? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. <gasps> That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag Aww. this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that They're we got so that cute. mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's crash oh no. this place. You're oh no, crazy. it's gonna get copyright yeah, claimed. I'm fucking insane in the brain. <laughs> Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> yeah, I wanna dance. Take pictures. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Break it down, Max. Yo, turn oh. it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, Dude the music's right. not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh my god. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Why? Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? 
Max, find a place to hide now. Okay, Chloe, okay, okay. Close I'm it. I'm coming. I close it. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. <gasps> Don't get smart. Just let me. No. Nope. Coming. Um. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm uh... changing. Give me a minute. Don't get bed? smart. Hide. Just I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Uh, Where else? Hide. Like, this is going stuff. nowhere fast. Uh, I better look someplace else. Uh, Open this door. Move. I'm giving you exactly three seconds hide. to open the door. One, okay. two, three. <sighs> Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. Okay. One of my guns is missing. Oh, what? Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You've been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Uh, stay hidden. I don't know. I can rewind. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. <gasps> Excuse me. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, uh, asshole. That's the last time. Rewind. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. What? Hey, you okay? What an Welcome asshole. Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's oh. hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Yeah, I want to see. And that's the point of the game, right? That's the point, but... Can I rewind again if I don't like? Do you know what I mean? Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Exactly three seconds to open the door. One, Move. two, three. Shit. Uh, uh. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. Well, let's try that. One of my guns I was like is stuck missing. in the closet, but not really. It was weird. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control. Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs Chloe, in my Chloe, that's home. not cool, though. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. 
And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. That was kind of an asshole anyway, thing to do, let's though. Sneak out the window. Not gonna there lie. is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, dude! That did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. I don't know what to do. What the fuck? <sighs> I'm all about covering. Like, I would have liked if... Sh if... Uh, I had stepped in. Not like Chloe would have been. Oh, it's Max's. Like, that's really not okay. Like, fuck you, Chloe. Like, what the hell? But I would have liked to step in myself and be like, oh, it's mine. You know what I mean? You know, do you, like, do you understand what I mean by, like, the, the nuance? I, I really don't like that from Chloe. Um, and now he's gonna check me a lot more. So I'm gonna rewind and try the, um, the stepping in from the closet. But I'm pretty sure, like... I don't know if there's a maximum in all this. Like... Two, three... No, no, no. One Please. second! My bra is stuck! I'm not screwing around, soldier! Chloe! Let's try. Open this door! I'm giving you exact- Shit! What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying- What is it? Step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, there we well. go, I prefer that. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. That's better. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How I about if I stupid. call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know, you're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. That's better. Like, I know it's stupid. I still lied, whatever, but... Is it the gun? I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. Oh, you God. trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. I'm not sure about this. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. But at least I know she has a gun now. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. Yeah. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody. Even Chloe. Yeah, no, yeah. I have but... to think about my own future. Otherwise she gets smacked in the face like that's really shitty. That's really fucking shitty. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while. What's the problem? Why steal a gun? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. I don't. Well, I don't. Guns make me nervous. 
You should be playing guitar, not playing with a gun. When assholes stop threatening me with guns, then I'll stop playing with mine. Your gun can't stop a bullet in your back. Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. No. Max, open the window and we can blow this popsicle stand. What if I tell her to put it back? You're giving me a look I haven't... You should put the gun back. Too dangerous. Only if somebody gets in my way again. Please don't talk that way. You think I want to? I'd rather be in LA with Rachel than hiding a gun. This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Hell yeah. <sighs> just don't keep it in your pants, okay? Max, I'm not looking for trouble. Okay. Not sure about all this. Now I'm gonna get checked more by the... But I prefer stepping in. I know it's so... it's ridiculous, but... Like, that was a shitty thing to do in the other parallel universe of Chloe. The other timeline. No, it's not as shitty. At least I stepped in. And she did ask me to hide. You know, it's only when I couldn't hide that she was like, nah, it's hers, you know? It's still not cool, but... I'n not trying to excuse, like, Chloe is awesome on a bad stuff? tangent. Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slowpoke! Hold on! I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Yeah, you had your nightmare. Whoa. Or your vision. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Mm. Uh. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Junk. Garbage. Oh, Warren. Uh, your white knight Warren here. I knew you were worried about me. Oh my god. You still have to tell me your big secret. Cake. That's that's a Twitch. <laughs> the Twitch laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's Cake W. But, We're just you know. so lucky. They can always escape. Hmm. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. <laughs> Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> I see. Okay. This is very beautiful. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Trust no one. How long has that been here? Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Bigfoot? Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. <laughs> Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Oh. Illuminati. Here. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. A haiku, really? Let's see it. A tree haiku? How pretty. Turn this way now or... Face the lonely haiku? Odin tree and never How look pretty. back. That's really cool. Okay. Let's 
talk to her because she is not okay. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Yeah, can we... Take a picture? No? Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. You're in a good mood? Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. I mean, he's maybe a he's got surveillance some PTSD. Fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your yeah. house is under surveillance. Yeah. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. Hella. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours. What's Nathan's secret? Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some nope. drug in his room. What? What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe, I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Max, it was insane. What the fuck? That is fucked up. I am so furious. Uh, I mean, yeah. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Yeah. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Oh, what the fuck? If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh, oh no. No, no I can't. Oh, we said it at the same time. Oh no. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Oh god. Find out. 
Sorry, I had to take care of my my puppy. She was crying. Uh huh. Uh, what do I do? What do I? Okay, I go the other way. Is right? Can't move ahead. I'm trying to teleport. Ah. True. I feel like the dome is fading. True. I did not think of that. Mind, I should go back to my previous location, but I, I don't. That's weird. Jesus Christ. Oh god. Insane tornado. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! <gasps> no, 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 no. I need to see the newspaper. for the town how am i going in the future though that's interesting Chloe, you're here i'm back oh my lord this is real it's real oh man this sucks max what's going on you totally blacked out i didn't black out i had another vision the town is going to get wiped out by a tornado she's gonna Morgan be like gets about five what? tornadoes every 20 years you just zoned no no i saw it I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. Why is it glitching? But there's Do something else I have to tell you. Well? Something hardcore. Talk to me, not Max. Sure. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Oh, like shit, I'm I said, her. not crazy. But hi. Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you no. in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video it game. It is, in fact, People a don't video have game. those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I I'm scared prove. shitless. I can't You need it. to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Is it snowing? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Mm, or a no. storm is coming. It's not how it works, but that's weird. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Well, I just told you. That's beautiful, though. God. You're crazy. It's glitching, eh? It's like with lines. I don't know if it's just my monitor or...
does he have a camera? Damn, that glitch. What is happening? Maybe I should restart the game. Rachel, Kelly. What was that? Rachel, Kelly. What was that? That was episode one. Okay. We can start episode two, but I won't be able to finish it, though. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love this game. I love it. I love it. Every time I do a choice, I'm like, nah. But what is cool from other choice-based game is that you can actually go back in time and try other choices. Like that's that changes the whole game for me cuz usually I can't do that and then I'm just left wondering, fuck, did I do the right thing? And then I and even if you can rewind, you still wonder if you did the right thing or not because you don't know what consequences it's gonna have later. But at least I can make an educated guess <laughs> in the moment, you know? It's not entirely like out of the blue or something. Like, for example, um, Detroit Become Human, I really, really enjoyed that game, but sometimes you think the choice you make is gonna have a certain outcome right away and then it doesn't at all and you're like what the fuck that's not what i wanted and it's too late but in this game maxine i i, I call her maxime i think i'm sorry in this game you can rewind so that's that's really cool let's let's play episode two i don't even know Oh, cool! We see our choices and the number of people that actually do that. Okay. You report on Nathan. Most people do that. Most people comfort. Victoria intervene to help out Kate. And then... Uh, nobody blames Chloe, or almost, and then came out of hiding. Yeah. Yeah. Refresh. Oh, nobody lets... Uh, well, not nobody, but most people don't let Daniel draw your portrait. And sign Miss Grant petition. Interesting. Hell to Lisa. Didn't he erase Kate Slate? I could have erased it? I did not know! I didn't know I could erase it. What? Okay. You watered your plant. Yeah. Didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. Yeah. Didn't touch Victoria's photos. Didn't write on a dirty RV. I, don't, I didn't even know I could do that. I saved the bird. Oh, most people let the bird die. Okay. Broke Chloe's snow globe. Oh yeah, I could have I could have uh, rewind and not break it. Oh well. Is that why there was snow at the end? No, I'm overreaching. I'm like snow globe, snow in Arcadia. Am I having like is that the consequence that it has? <laughs> I'm reaching. I'm reaching. Sorry, I didn't enjoy my... I didn't like my green screen, so I had to fix it. Anyways, when it's a wide background, it looks terrible. Uh, you didn't leave any evidence. You read David's files. I did. And that's it. Okay. Oh, what? I'm gonna save her again. Uh, yeah. Do I need to... Install it, maybe? In the 
previous episode of Life okay. is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! I have to restart the game. There's a lot of uh, film, Whoa. little pieces. What of the time. fuck? Glitches. But could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person yep. posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago. All right. Let's change the story base. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know that. Choose wisely. How can I choose wisely when I don't know the consequences it's gonna have, though? <sighs> How? Okay, it's saved. So I'm just gonna restart the game because. <laughs> Snooze. Yeah. Yeah, let let me just restart the game. All right, so I restarted my PS5 because I don't know. I don't know if it's just the game or I didn't try any other games. <sighs> but I don't like the I, yeah, the glitch that does like lines or I thought it was my monitor, but I saw it in the preview on my OBS as well. So I don't know. Use it. So a lot of shit's gonna go down in this episode as well. Like there's a train or something. The time machine. Oh yeah. Make some research. And my plant is gonna be alive because I watered it. Right? Maybe uh, Chloe is with me. Out of time. She's not. Yeah, she must not have slept well. Garagi. I like her shirts. Pajama, I guess. I like the music. I hope I don't get copyright claimed. Okay. Forty minutes or else. What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smart ass, and I need your help. Like when you told Step Dork it was your weed. For reals, we need to talk. Or in an ass. Buster breakfast at two wills, my treat. <laughs> Sold. It's good to have minions. Breakfast is a go. Okay. Oh, mom has a... Ah! SMS. Mom has a message for me. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Okay. I didn't. I should probably stop the music. It's gonna get copyright claimed, I'm sure. Every time it plays on the fucking radio, it gets copyright claimed. Shit. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. What? 
Cartier Bresson. Do I know? Okay, I already Hamilton? checked all that. Okay, did greatest. I add a picture? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I did not, in fact. Whoa. Hello, zombie <laughs> face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, okay. It's a journal. So it's everything we've talked about. All right. Nathan, Nathan. Principal, Warren. Uh, absolutely love our blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dives. I know she's angry at me, with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. Feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott. Shit, I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out no matter what actually you did find out okay uh what about that those are like evidence and that's like an antidepressant i think oh yeah yeah i saw all that okay all right. Oh, the two whales. Diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's where we're gonna meet. And I'm gonna eat a big-ass breakfast. Right? Okay, it's all the things that I looked at. All right. And then... We need to take care of that, yeah. We need to... So that's like a cage with a carrot or something? What is that? And then the whale thing with the sun. I need to remember this, take pictures of them, because I didn't in the first one. I took only three out of a thousand of them. <laughs> that thousand, but you know. I could take my cell phone. Shower supplies. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Um. Don't overwater it. I'm not gonna water it today. New no. camera. Oh yeah, take a selfie of the no zombie smile. face. Take your power seriously. <laughs> if it says it will have consequences, I swear. Okay. Phew. Thank God. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Time is like a river. My head hurts after longer rewind. And I think about this now. And thinking about this now. Take a giant step backwards for mankind. Giant, giant frog. Bullshit, I'm drowning in time. Quantum entanglement energy disperses as particles reach equal distribution. This means that time has a frag fragile foundation. Nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken, so no rules, only guidelines. No fucking way, what about that? Rewind only limited by time itself. Right now, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony or evolution? Maybe I have to do time exercises. How? Burn your clock. What if I'm one of Hawking's fable time tourists? Even though he once made fun of time travel, now he believes it's a possibility. Or he's still fucking with us. He's a genius. Him. Yeah. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, time kitty. La la la. Time is like an arrow, Newton. Or is time like two arrows the same velocity hitting two targets independent of each other, leading to two different results? What the hell am I writing? Hmm. 
I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? True, I did not even think of that. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, DVDs. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Yeah, maybe you're not the only one and stuff like that. Like, you, you start thinking like that, I'm guessing. Use. Oh, okay. Whatever. Let's go to the shower. Courtney, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Uh huh. Brooke, why would I knock in Brooke's room? I mean, I can do it. No Brooke here. Okay. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Okay. Erase! <sighs> That's better. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Okay. Oh! Don't be a zombie. They live. Uh. All right. Hey, Alyssa. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Okay. Showers. Okay, cool. I just want to... Bathrooms. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Watching Everybody's what? Everybody's seen it by now. About Kate? What's happening? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Clearly not a morning person. Clearly not a morning person. Oh, hello. Stuff. Look. Yeah. Hi, Dana. Dramatic. Trevor. Roller Blaze. Girl. Girl. If you want to be a derby girl. You need roller skates, not roller blades. Girl. I love roller skating, by the way. I, I think you guys know that already, but if you don't... I actually own a pair of roller skates. And I love them very much. Uh. Next to prom night in big football, I'm my free time of the year is the annual gold days black black Halloween party. Principal Wales has given us almost carte blanche to decorate the halls and gym with taste and safety. So I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their class. I know y'all have tons of homework as I do. Let's make this a Halloween in Blackwell. The black one will never forget. Decoration comedy meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. 
This, didn't she say October 11th was Friday? It's a Thursday. I'm confused. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuses for flaking. Boogeyman will get you, la la la. Oh yeah! Let's go! That's amazing. An amazing look. Oh. Contraceptive pill. Hi, girl. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. <laughs> By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. You're not? Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. Yeah. That's the spirit, Go Max. back. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. <sighs> it does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Paper ball. This is both sad and pathetic. Then I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock, tough ja jock, around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. Uh -huh. Let's talk later, Max. Okay, I'm, I'm gone. All right, let's go to the shower. <laughs> I think I saw all of that before. Okay. Oh, Kate! Hey, you are. Hey. Hey, Kate. Something's happening with you. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. He does. He has PTSD. everybody here. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay, I tried to find it. Remember that whimsy. After my shower, I'll bring her book back and yeah. that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the oh, flu. Oh yeah, I saw that before. Fuck you. Hold to another universe. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> Dispenser. Otter power? I'm so not there. <laughs> God. Okay. Um, let's take a shower. And because this is not a David Cage choice based movie, I'm expecting we won't see her naked. Thank you. She's a fucking teenager. <sighs> David Cage, I swear. <laughs> Did I see movie? Game. I don't know what I said. What's up, Kate? It's cool. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. What? Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. 
Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. That's a fucking problem. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Ugh. <laughs> Honestly. I can't erase that. What the fuck though? That's not okay. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Erase. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Oh, there's someone else. Uh. I mean... <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. All right, so that's it. Rachel is a whore. What the? Oh, that's cool. I feel like I was lucky enough to be old enough to... <laughs> uh, when I was in school, there was not that many... Like, it was not really a thing yet, cyberbullying. What the fuck? No fucking way. Who? This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh, it's Nathan? Oh, shit. Yeah. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Search. No book here. Oh yeah, get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. I did not finish my uh, my thought, did I? I was saying that... Oh, there we go. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book. When I was in school, like, cyberbullying was not really a thing. We, just, we didn't really have... I mean, Be we gone, had cell phones, softer. but... Well, I didn't, but... <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Mm -hmm. But... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. I feel like now it's much As more a thing. I don't have to worry about being late anymore. I do have True. all the time in the world now. Oh, timetable. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. So, are we on Wednesday or are we on Tuesday now? What day are we? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. October 8th. October 8th, okay. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe the depression. The 10th is Wednesday, so we are Monday. But I had school yesterday. That doesn't make sense. Or we're Tuesday? I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I am I feel really glad that cyberbullying was not really a thing yet. I think it was starting, but like all my elementary school internet almost didn't exist yet. Like it, it did, but we didn't have computers much and stuff, so. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm going for your ass. I know where you sleep. Pfft. Come for oh, me, bitch. Shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. 
This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, come for me. I'm gonna knock your Kate? ass out. I don't care. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh my god. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Father and I received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wales about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on on you or our family. We pray for you. Expect you to pray for forgiveness. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. She is not going well. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful. True. And positive. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. The light shines in darkness, the darkness comprehended it not. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Bob. <laughs> That's like the cutest thing ever. It's a I rabbit! Have no idea that Kate I can ever take a picture. With Alyssa and Stella. I can take a picture. There's probably a carrot in the cage, right? Yes. Or not. Field of view. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Oh. It's nice that they can actually have... Hey, I'm trying to use my powers uh, for this. Jesus. Uh, pets. That's pretty Ouch. nice. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be safe from eternal hellfire, Auntie Marsh. Jesus. And look at that handwriting as well, like, what the... Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Maybe it's we could way open the too emo yeah. in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. <laughs> I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I hope she doesn't commit suicide, but because I swear, I'm Maybe gonna Kate lose has it. a split personality: church girl by day, party monster by night. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Yeah, let's talk to her. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why, Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. 
and she I got spiked no by either. Nathan. She definitely it got spiked. Sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. It was spiked. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... Yes. Nathan. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Uh. Did you go? Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. That's terrible. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I'm sorry. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. Yeah, that How do really I get a viral video taken sucks. down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. I thought... So is it Nathan? But the soft, soft voice is not Nathan. So, like... Because when Chloe recounted the story, she said... The freak was over me trying to take a picture. Did she say that? She said that, right? But I thought she was talking about Nathan. But maybe not. I maybe when I'm e when I edit this video I can I can recall. So Max, can I ask I can you a piece question? it together? And please be honest. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Uh, yeah, I need to find out about Should that I go too. to the police? Look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys mm. and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Okay, let me rewind. It's just that... Uh, it's... it's it, I mean, it's never too late to go to the police. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. It's never too late, but they're gonna be like, okay. So. Uh, I can talk to her? Okay. 
Okay. Did you step? Hey, bullies. I hate. I was hoping he. Kate. Well, he's a toy. Why? Why did? Because he's. You know how. I know that. Basically, I. Doesn't sound like you. Doesn't. I. You have to talk. I... La la la. Not enough to get wasted. No, no, no. I, I rewinded too I much. Did somebody? Mm. I remember. Go on. That... Did you go? Did you? La la la. What do you? Oh. Soft voice. Go. La la. Somebody. And, and and I don't remember. Okay. So. I'm Jesus. sorry, guys. How do I get? <laughs> Let's try okay. to go to the police. I mean, I hesitated. Ah? I meant to. Uh, what the fuck? But. What the. I skipped it? Ugh. Can't I just fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes the rewind is not the best tool. Like, because you, it's hard. I, I understand, like the the point, I went but I go to the point, and that's not exactly where I want to go. I, you have so I won't skip I the soft voice thingy. Not enough. I don't. After the I end, and I remember. Then I can go on. I can't skip anymore. Did you definitely? I know I could have what do you chosen remember? other answers to no more, but go on. Somebody was. And okay. And that's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next oh, day. I know why I didn't did have that. Marks or bruises. It's because it's I when I put gross. the book in her. So, who took the video? Oh, I'm stupid. I have no I'm stupid. Idea. Probably Victoria. She... Jesus, Kate. It's when I put the book in I'm her sorry. bag that this she asked me that question. Shit. I forgot. I, I was I was talking now? at the same time, so I. Kate. Yeah, put it there, and then she's gonna ask me the question, right? Go to the police. Let's try. I'm sorry. My yes, God. you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup, backup witness? Backup witness? Yeah. Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, She was not there. We're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Well, that's better, but... Uh... Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Whatever. Now the police will definitely drag you into this yeah, shit. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, they fucking spiked. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself. She can't look at herself? God damn, that's a terrible experience. Get spiked and then you wake up and you don't know what happened to you. Like, that's so fucked up. Ugh. Yes, yes, I'm coming. No emoji. I'm coming, oh my god. Could you please stop looking at it, Brooke? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. 
Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Mm, I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Are you jealous, girl? Really, Max? What? Talk Let's later. talk later, Max. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just want to be sure that I'm doing everything. What if I say no? Hey, Sorry. Brooke. Oh, hi, Mac. We've distracted. Look, I was... La la la. I, I'm serious. And no. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. There we go. Back. Talk to you later, Max. I'm one of the few who can talk back. Girl. I'm not sure I like her, but... Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. He's so cute. He's so sweet. Or easy. Now I am suspicious of everybody. Samuel! Birds. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Deers. I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Snow. So what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. What other pictures can I take? The whale. Okay. So it was a bunny. I thought it was a... Um, I really thought it was... A carrot for, in a cage for for some reason. I don't know why. But it made sense anyways. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Literally. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Is that a fight? What the hell? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Oh. I can rewind. Okay, I can rewind the conversation. For some reason. Because I have an info now. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. About your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to Cheating. her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Okay. Butterfly effect! 
now I'm noticing I feel so stupid. Because every time I make... Usually it writes, oh, this action would take consequences. So I never really... I mean, I noticed the butterfly thing, but I never really paid attention. And now it makes complete sense. It's definitely the butterfly effect. And it's the fact that I took a picture of a butterfly that makes all this happen. Use. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Oh, there we go. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. I can take a picture of that now. We go. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Full exposure. Okay, so I see it looked like a donut only. So I just see parts of the picture that I'm gonna take. So it was indeed a carrot in in the in the cage, probably. It's just hints. And then I take the full picture. Haha. <laughs> is there something to see in here is my question. Like that's what I wanted to do actually. Uh yeah, no I don't need that now. Files. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Uh I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Uh... Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. Yeah, can I talk about it to him? I don't need to rewind, I think I can just talk about it. Why do you have pictures of, of Rachel? Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Some people care. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found, like you, that's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Uh. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Oh, okay. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Of course you will. Take care, Max. And keep listening to the animals. I thought he was nice and all, but now I'm thinking maybe, uh... This is Nathan's father. This is a message that you know that attempts to send her blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers in rig. You know, if I send back with joy, it's so beautiful ask because there is a... <sighs> you are part of the problem. Max, come on over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, me. I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. Yeah. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Mm. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! 
Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I need. But not now, though. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I love Planet of the Apes. Go take the bus. I mean, I hope it's not a date or something, though. Like, I... Just his friends, right? <laughs> yeah, no? David uh, I mean, it seems nice, but... be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I need to stop playing. My god, I can't stop playing this game, it's so good. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Damn. Well, good luck. Yeah. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. You won the I'm a lottery. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right Good here. Good on you. Let's take a picture of this. So I can cash it in. Or this. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Nice. Processor. Oh, we got flyers here. Look at all these flyers. Save our bay. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? Yeah. By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. No way. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn <laughs> more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I think I've talked my quota for the year. <laughs> Alright. RV? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, oh. Stop that. Stop. No barking. Oh, can't I, uh... There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. You can't do anything. Okay. Weird. Listen to the dogs. Hold to another universe. Again? Who's writing all that? All right, let's get in. I'm getting hot in here. Oh shit! Got it. Okay. Hello, how'd you do? <laughs> nice. Can I talk to this dude? Oh, newspaper. Yes, we're open. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, wait, wait! I wanted to read. <clears throat> Snow. A rare well, admission the National Weather Service story. has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Oh, or Oregon. 
Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. The world is on fire? You can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The this snow was odd. pretty odd. Yeah. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Yeah, okay, you're a weirdo. What in the hell? Oh. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I want to know about Prescott. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. Prescott. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. What about Joyce? You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diamond. She's fed me more than my own family. Oh. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? <sighs> Married to a real prick. Yeah, she knows stuff. Okay. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. <sighs> I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Yeah. Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. It's terrible. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Oh, that's nice. I have to go now. Goodbye. Damn. <gasps> Image stabilizer. We're getting all the trophies today. Damn. What if I go in the row? Like, does, does something happen or? I don't want to go that way. Okay, what about that way? Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, okay. All right, let's go into the diner. Just, just making sure. <laughs> Chloe's waiting for me. Oh, Rachel. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Good Lord, talk about apocalyptic. They're filthy rich. Who's Did that? you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Jesus Christ, are you okay? Oh, Weird lady. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? She's Canadian? Like me? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious coronas. 
Cojones. He looks like George R. R. Martin. Why does. does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. <laughs> the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah. True. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Kitty! What? First before pissing it. That graffiti oh has been here forever. What about this one? Gross. Rachel ails me a blowjob. So does your mom. Oh, I can take a picture of that fire walk with me or something. <gasps> There's a doe. Here. Oh, what? Thank you, redneck poet. Okay. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hmm. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. <sighs> I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and can cheese? Can I speak to Joyce? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Oh. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, he? we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Was me. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Mother, yeah, I that's what I was about now. to say. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. And I have a dough shirt. I didn't even notice. Okay. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Pardon moi. Everything is in eyesight. Everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. <laughs> That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. You're so freaking rude. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Uh, 
their shit? I mean, no, but him, he is, yeah. True. Want everything. Mm. Guitar. Don't get copyright claim, please. What about this? Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? So Joyce. That's so perfect. I can't speak with Joyce though. Oh, I didn't talk to them. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. <laughs> Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking Sorry, my out puppy is doing. Room. Trevor finally told me Weird about things. him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. What? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Dana's yeah, room. I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. Oh. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. <gasps> Picture. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. All right, I'll stop after this uh, conversation with Chloe. Joyce. And there she is, lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Mm -hmm. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Yeah. Promise. I will be. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Mm -hmm. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. I but don't you know. you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. She knows. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? 
David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. Mm. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, <laughs> there's only one student I'm worried about. Nancy and Drew. she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelette, Belgian waffle. Ooh! The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. Bacon omelette sounds so, fucking good though. Bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Where's Chloe? One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I oh, the sorry. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. Yeah. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Uh -huh. Stick with bacon. Uh -huh. True. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Oh, that's what, what profound, kind of actually. That's quite profound. Incoming. It wouldn't be a moment anymore. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Nice. I'm feeling like a baby. <laughs> Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. Mm -hmm. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... <laughs> Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. No. Let me see. Just put them out and I'll rewind. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know yet. Not the gun, please. Let's rewind. A panda keychain. Cigarettes, money, a warning ticket. It's my rewind sound. You have keys.
It's a panda. Cigarettes. There was a lot. Shit. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Fuck. Seven? That was beyond epic fail. Oh. You made me want to believe you. Okay, I have to be really careful about the details. Let me see again. Okay, Max. Study every item and carefully four, and get don't forget six. anything. Set. I do it for cats like six. Six cents? Three quarters? And one five cents. Three quarters, five cents, six. Okay. Out of parking bay. Let me rewind and do that again. Well, this is me too. Okay, Max. Okay. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. Panda. A cute rope. Panda, panda, Not panda. Bad, panda. Super Max. You do have that. Cigarettes. I'm free. Yes, you know. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Uh, I'm bad at maths. Um, three quarters and... Three quarters and... Uh, what is three? Uh, wait... It's uh, eighty six. Pen the pen the pen the brrr. Eighty six cents. That's right, living large <sighs> in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. It's so not my won. money, oh okay, Canadian. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ugh. Ten thirty four AM. Booyah, Max can tell time. <sighs> yep. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Just Clearly. one strip of bacon? You see her whole breakfast she got? I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you oh, have was to that show just me one more. bacon on way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. She waved. Oops. Huh? Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Is that all? That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? All right. Uh. So what are you? I'm going to predict. Okay. 
four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, uh, so we have Trevor drops his glass. Trevor, no. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Uh, and he answers. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight. Joyce beats them. Uh, no. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. I think I made a mistake. It's getting good. With Can't the cup. wait to see what happens. Trevor goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it, as a butterfly ends on it, as a trucker plays a new song. Uh, I think. It was a fly. I saw something. The jukebox goes crazy as a fly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. I'm not well, sure about when I'm. Everything happens, nope, like you said. that's not right. That's not right. Was it a cockroach? Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Get the call. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. It's a cockroach. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. I'm going to predict. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops. So what happened? Alert on cops radio, and he leaves, and he answer, and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Yeah. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Just enter a fight, and Joy stops them. Justin and Trevor I didn't understand that it was like choices of Joyce the same thing at first. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Well, now I understood. A uh, cockroach. There the we go. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. <sighs> but let's see if everything happens You'll like you see. said. You'll see. You'll see. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, I got really? everything right. No refill for you. I got everything right because it's like cutscene, kinda. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! Oh my god. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's oh like god. it never happened! Oh my god, oh. what the fuck? That's the first Maybe thing you, you think? Maybe you on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, you Max. You can make him that's move on me. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. And I would never know. You did not just That's say that. That's a terrible thought, uh, actually. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. I said, over and out. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. 
You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Answer. Hey, I'm Kate. sorry, but... What's up? Please, don't it's let your important. best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. Like, I really don't think we should go into this right now. It's more important than Chloe right later, now. I'll call you okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. Oh my god, you you're so bitchy. Yeah. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. What's, what's with the jealous, jealousy and stuff? Like, calm down, gee. Yeah, Sucks I'm not rewinding for that. Into an argument. Yeah. True. The fuck was that? Was that to do with the dog? I need to stop playing. I need to stop playing. I've been playing for two hours, almost two hours and a half. I need to stop. And I'm hungry. And I saw them eating breakfast. Is this a race? No, I want to eat bacon. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. <laughs> Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over yeah. guns, Chloe. Like <sighs> what? Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. I agree. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. It's saved, right? I didn't notice. I think it's saved bef be between the diner and now. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's stop here. Let's stop here. Let's stop here. Oh my god. Alright. That was really fun. I absolutely enjoyed this game. I want to play non-stop. It's... Yeah. It's really good. I'm curious what's gonna happen next, like... I'm really, really worried with, um, Kate. I hope that she doesn't commit anything, you know. I hope she doesn't get hurt. I'm really, really worried about her because what happened to her is absolutely awful. And what is it with, like, all the... The, the, the... Break time. Spiking drugging and then someone taking pictures well kate didn't have that but chloe and then the video like nah. i don't like it i don't like it at all but we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah so we started second episode and i don't know what the <laughs> Heck, Chloe wants to do with my powers and a gun and a shooting range, but I'm guessing it's gonna turn badly. I don't know. People are gonna hear us, no? Maybe we're out in the middle of nowhere or something. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.